Hi there, it's Dr. Jen Simmons from Real Health MD. Here's another question that I get all the time. Does fruit count as sugar and is fruit good for you while you're cancering? So fruit does count as sugar. The kind of sugar that is in fruit is fructose. Now let's talk about the evolutionary purpose of fruit. The evolutionary purpose of fruit was for people to be able to put on fat during times of plenty because that was a survival mechanism. And because fruit is sweet, we tend to overeat it. So the purpose of fruit was to make us fat in the summer in times of plenty so that we could survive the winter when there was scarcity. We don't have winter anymore. We don't have scarcity anymore. Food is readily available to us all the time. So let's talk about the role of fruit in the modern day anti-inflammatory cancer diet. I think that fruit does have a place, does have a role when fruit is whole and we're not pulverizing it, we're not putting it in smoothies because when we pulverize it, we make the sugar even more biologically available. I am not talking about fruit juice. That is the same as drinking sugar. So don't be fooled by its color and its smell and the fact that it was just juiced. Fruit juice is sugar and is not good for you. What I am talking about is whole fruit, fruit that is bound to its fiber. The sugar will not be as available and we have to limit it. We have to limit it. We cannot be eating sugar and using fruit as a substitute for our other nutrient dense foods. So you should all be mostly consuming vegetables. And if you wanna add fruit to your diet, add whole fruit, hopefully in season that you're eating seasonally and you are limiting it to one to two servings a day. So I do think that there's a place for fruit I especially like the dark berries and it is hard to get blue foods in if you're not including blueberries and blackberries and black raspberries. So I am fully in favor of that, but our fruit should be consumed as whole fruit. Try not to pulverize it into a smoothie. I know that for some people that's how they're getting their fruit in, but just be careful because that makes the sugar far more available. And cancer, breast cancer in general, is a metabolic disease. And so we want to really promote our metabolic health. And that means consuming a low glycemic diet to keep our insulin levels down, to keep insulin-like growth factor down so that we do not promote more cancer growth. And in fact, what we're doing is promoting our health. So the key to a low glycemic diet is to limiting the amount of sugar that you have. So again, fruit is okay when it's whole fruit in limiting qualities and in limited quantities and the more colorful, the better. Try to stay away from bananas and, and the, the white fruits that have a lot of sugar, don't have a lot of water content to them and don't have a lot of nutrient to them. So think dark berries, think the low sugar fruits, think fruits that are really watery, um, and again, limited quantities. It's Dr. Jen. Bye for now.